Mm. <sighs> You're tired. Yes. Oh, hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce, bud. What's up, dude? You want to be with us? You horse of a dog? Okay. You can be in the bowl. Oh. As long as you stay below the table. Yes. And not in the frame. He's like, deal. All right, welcome back. This is vlog number two. Yes, number, number dose. Two. It's Thursday, March 15th. The 15th. Yep. Perfect. Halfway through March, um, we're getting real close to spring. We're getting pretty antsy. Yeah, it was like 45 degrees the other day. Yeah. Like most of the snow melted. Anyway, so that's where we're at here in North Dakota. Uh, what have we been up to this week? Well, I think I'd say the biggest highlight of my week was delivering the teddy bear case that we made out of cherry. It was just really fun to see the final product and give it to the customer who knew what it was going to look like, but it's different when you got like the bear inside and the poem inside and it was super meaningful. Yeah. The clients were really wowed. So yeah. she sent like an instantly when she got home, she sent me a picture of her husband and he was just like sitting in the floor just in the living room staring, staring at it. He's like and awesome. Yeah, that makes a huge difference. Yeah. We love being part of the story. Yeah. You know, like as much fun as building things are, like that's why that's why we do it mm -hmm. is for for the story and stuff like that. So that super, cool. super cool uh to we could be able to do that for them. Yeah. So, um, and it was all her idea too. To like, surprise him yeah, and she God. said, Hey, I've been to several other people who straight up told me that they couldn't do this. I couldn't really make that work or it was going to be, you know, way too expensive. And so I thought it was really cool that we were like, yeah, no, we can do it. Um, this was an amazing client. If every one of my clients, like for the rest of forever could be as easy to communicate with knew knew exactly what she wanted, even though she didn't know like woodworking, Yeah. like, really really awesome client so i wish everybody was like her yeah so it was yeah it was a good project it was a really good week um i'd say we learned a lot of good skills too like that was our first time really working with um what was it the lexan mm -hmm. polycarbonate yeah, or take, take jobs that are going to push your skill level in layman's terms you know don't like lie or mislead your client but definitely take on projects that intimidate you mm -hmm. like that's the biggest thing i used to when i was selling websites i would have clients ask me hey can you do x y and z no, I couldn't, but I told him I would, I'd figure it out. So like push your skill level because you'd be really surprised at how much you can actually do. So challenge yourself. Don't be boring. Um, so it may seem like you're going to miss a lot of the current stuff, but if you follow us on Instagram, we usually keep up our story with like up to date stuff. Yeah. So check that out. And then what that's going to do is that's going to buy us some time for our next project. Our next project. It's a, it's a it's big a, end. It's a doozy. We're making a giant built-in downstairs. I think we mentioned it in the last vlog. Yeah, we're we did. We're making a giant built-in downstairs. It's going to be like eight or nine sheets of plywood, like bookcases, desk, the whole nine yards. It's... Our cat. <laughs> it's going to be a really big project. So we need a little bit of extra time to just work on it and film it because the camera slows us down a little bit Yeah. and I've never made a built-in before. So there's going to be a steep learning curve. Basement's going to be a mess. But you're going to get to see all of it. And by the end of it, you're going to know what not to do because yeah, that's yeah. I may not show you the right way to do it, but I will show you a couple of wrong things to do. <laughs> anyway, I think that's all that we've got going on. Um, I hope this pisses you off while you're editing. Really just making plans for summer, I think, is our biggest thing. We're oh like, what are we going to accomplish when we can finally have so the garage door much, open? So much. When we can go do work out on the deck, like, it just, it, it's a whole new realm of possibilities when you don't have to fill up a propane tank twice a week to heat your garage because it's oh minus 25 outside. Then you gotta turn it on for an hour and let it warm up and let the shop warm up. Because yeah. even if the air is warm, your tools, metal, are still cold and they'll suck all the heat right out of your hands working with it. And you don't wanna use gloves because that's just mm -hmm. not safe. So yeah, we're gonna get a lot done when it warms up and we can finally focus on just building. Like there's a bunch of dust in the air, so sometimes we have to leave the shop, even with respirators and everything, we don't like being in there when there's a bunch of sawdust and stuff floating around. So once we're able to open the door, even we've got a big air cleaner cart too, mm -hmm. but that still just doesn't work fast enough. So having the door open is a huge, huge thing. And we can start to use um, better finishes and stuff because the harsh chemicals. Yeah. It's time for tool time with Dave and Jenny. It's also the next day. We had some audio problems, so we're reshooting this. So once again, for the second time. Oops. All right, the topic this week is hand drills. 
Not like a super hipster version. You know what I'm talking about? No. No? So like there's these, uh, what's, I forget what this thing is called. That's so dumb. Um, it's like an old style egg beater almost, but it's like. Like an ice auger, but for wood. Exactly, exactly. Okay. okay. It's like that. It's like an auger type thing. I forget what that's called. It's something really, it's like, uh, it, the word even sounds antique. Mm. Um, but then you have the different drills, which we call these drill bits, but those are actually called the drills if you're getting really technical and picky. But we're not, don't worry. This is not the fine woodworking channel. This is the good enough woodworking channel. So, hand drills, powered drills. Basically, they've come a long way. Um, I don't have any like plug into the wall drills. I know that those are still like the most efficient or Some whatever. Some people swear by them or they're like, no, you need to get the one that plugs into the wall well, and good battery for, life. They're and... good for long term use because yeah. if, like these batteries, they died. If you don't have extra batteries, then you got to be constantly swapping them out. Swapping them out. Um, also, they're a little bit. I, I want to say like more portable. They're they're more wieldy. I guess is the best way to say that because the the drill sometimes the battery at the bottom just kind of throws your weight off. It's too heavy of a tool. Mm -hmm. If you had a smaller version of this without the battery at the bottom, just a cord hanging out, it's a lot lighter. So sometimes they're easier to use, mm -hmm. just depending on whatever you're doing. Um, but definitely, if you're just drilling a whole bunch of holes really fast for a pretty good long time, a plug-in drill is the way to go. So we don't have any of those. We just have the cordless battery ones because they're the most convenient, I think, all around. So let's get started. The drills that we have. So this is the first power tool, anything that we ever bought uh, was this drill. And Jenny bought it for my birthday. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, she bought me this at the Sears in town and it works great. Couple months later, we built a few little things and then we got really, I got really tired of changing the bit back and forth. So I went and bought myself a That's second one. That's how you one. solve that problem, Merka. So we went out and bought another. So this is my driver drill. That was my screw, screwing hole drill. Yeah. And uh, they work great for the longest time. They still work, we still use them. We use this one in the house, it just stays in the house for stuff. And then this one we use <clears> for <throat> drilling pocket hole holes. So. We still use them, they're still great. Um, yeah. Want it. Do that. This next is our set that we bought from the Home Depot. Um, they're the Rigid brand. For the longest time I thought that was like Home Depot's brand, but it's actually no. it's actually a Chinese brand that they import and they sell through like Acme Tools and a couple of other different distributors in the US or North America. Uh, I think they're sold as AEG. They're sold as AEG tools internationally. So I think in Australia mm. and then the UK, I think that they're they're known as AEG. That's what I've heard. I did not know that. Uh, yeah, it's just one of those G-Wiz things. But these are great. Uh, I use, I got these because although those, although those worked well, I was getting a whole bunch of tools like an air nailer and some other stuff when I first got into woodworking. And I really just, I got sold on the, oh, well, I've already got the batteries. I might as well have the tools. So. They kind of got me on that one, but these drills are fine. They work great. Um, the only thing is this drill eats batteries really, really fast. If I'm drilling a lot of holes, it's gone. As opposed to the impact driver, I can get twice the life out of the battery of the impact driver than I can the drill. Um, if, I'm, if I'm driving a screw with this in every hole that I drill with this. Anyway, that is these two. Uh, they're great. So the difference, this is not technically a drill. This is an impact driver. So with a standard drill, you've got a motor in here that spins really fast and then there's two or three different gear systems, kind of like your bicycle, which just maximize the torque uh, so the, the motor spins really So on a bicycle, your feet go slow and the wheel goes fast. In a drill, the motor is going fast and then they gear that down so the bit goes a lot slower than the motor is spinning. You get more power that way, you get some torque out of that because torque is really hard for electric motors to get. You need a big old fat motor if you want a lot of torque. This is an impact driver. It does scale down the motor a little bit, but you don't need quite as much torque out of this motor because there is a little hammer in here. It's just a piece of metal that looks like a butterfly with a hole drilled in the middle. And what that butterfly does is it spins around and it whacks into the side as it's spinning. It 
spring loaded and it whacks into the side of this driver bit, which forces it. So if you can imagine like putting a wrench on here and then just like hitting that wrench with a hammer to try and like just tighten it. Um, it just does that like r really often. So it, it'll, I can't make it do it, but it'll go clack, 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 and it'll like drive screws in. Uh, it's really helpful because a lot of times you're cutting threads in the wood as you're like driving at home. So this has a lot more torque. Uh, it can push the screw in faster with less battery power, I guess is why they do it. And because that's really hard on these drills, it kind of makes them heat up, drains the battery really quickly. So, so that's why you use an impact driver. And last but not least, we have this little guy. This is the whoa, Black & Decker 12 volt drill. Um, it's really nice. We bought this drill, not because we needed it, but because we made an online course, before we started making YouTube videos, we made an online course uh, to teach people who are afraid of power tools that you really only need two. So we did, what, what like three projects with mm -hmm. just a, like a super cheap jigsaw and a super cheap drill. These are like the cheapest ones we could find, like that were kind of a brand name, so you could find them at like Walmart or Target or something like that for very, very low cost. And it performed just fine. It's definitely not as great as one of these, but it's like a third of the price. This is 50 bucks and it came with the charger. It came with a whole bunch of hand tools, like a tape measure, yeah. a ruler, a level, screwdrivers. Yeah. yeah, just all sorts of things. And it came with a hammer. Yeah, so it, it came with a lot of stuff with it, which is why we bought it, because it's a really good starter kit mm -hmm. for someone who's afraid of tools or doesn't have any tools. Yeah, so. I made all three projects with that drill and it worked perfectly fine for me. Yeah, there were some instances where the, we could have used a little more power in the drill, but you just turn this clutch. So if you don't know, there's a feature on drills called a clutch, which basically limits the amount of torque that they're putting in. So say you're putting in screws in something really delicate, like a, a gift box, and you don't want to drive the screw right in or risk like splitting the wood. What you can do is you can set the clutch to a lower number. And what that'll do is once it reaches a certain torque level, it'll start to click like that and it won't turn anymore. And so most drills have that feature. And then if you twist it to just the straight drill setting, it doesn't have any sort of limit. So when you can't turn it anymore, it's at the strength limit of the motor and the gearing. Uh, and if you do that too long, it will burn up the motor. There's a lot of cool YouTube videos if you wanna watch some drills getting destroyed. <laughs> so those are our drills. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. Yeah, again, you don't need five drills to do woodworking stuff. Like, this is obscene. We're kind of hoarders when it comes to tools. We don't like to throw anything out, and we usually buy... T this, so, this is one thing that I don't like. If you are on a budget and you want to buy something like this, great, go for it. But if this is a hobby you think you're going to do for a good long time, or you're planning on building five or six really large pieces of furniture to go mm -hmm. in your home, like an entertainment center or a coffee table, maybe a couple of bar stools or chair. Like if you're gonna build more than two or three projects, I would really, really consider getting the best drill that you can afford. The best drill and impact driver combo that you can afford. Whatever that means to you, do your research, look it up, but. <clears throat> all right, that's it for Tool Time with Dave and Jenny this week. Thanks for checking out the vlog. If you watch this far, you're gonna like our stuff. <laughs> so go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're and not. And like if you like this one specifically. Yes, <laughs> that helps us out with YouTube's numbers and stuff. So give us a thumbs up if you learned something and then let us know what you learned down below. We, we really have no feedback right now as to what you're learning, what you're getting out of it, what you're not getting out of it. So if you'd let us know, that'd be great. Yeah. We can do more stuff like that in the future. If you have any ideas, for future tool times with David Jetty that you'd like to see or more detail you'd like us to go over? Like, like what do you want to know about? Bye. <laughs> see you later. Thanks for watching.